Coach Phil, let my team, the two championships, one that we got a game when it was crazy, something to hold on, all part of the plan. He's also been a good player on the field and not just as a coach. Just to see the uh, uniform out here. Phil's awesome. I love Phil. Time is precious on this field. There's nothing like this field. Listen to the TV stories about this field. When I played against Ridgewood, struck out three times, had a belt out of the dugout, and my dad said, you're going to come up and get the game on hit. Granted, bottom of the fifth inning comes up, base is loaded. And the pitch was so far above my head, I had to tomahawk the thing right out to left center field, brought home the game when he won. But I could come and give you a bunch of different baseball stories, but that's not what I'm here about. As you heard Yash talk about my volunteerism, it all started 10 years ago when I started helping out the kids of St. Jude down in Memphis, Tennessee. Helping kids fighting against cancer. In the 10 years that I ran our committee, we raised over $10 million and every single year averaged $1.5 million to helping kids fighting cancer. But that's not where my volunteerism would stop. It was then by investing in others, helping them fulfill dreams that they had. So that's when I began coaching. And it's been an experience where I've had a lot of great guys, a lot of them who can't be here today because they're playing on the high school level. Or then I got a lot of these great guys standing here behind me come up and I want a couple of them definitely come up because I wouldn't be standing here without them with me. Silvio Pickenich, Connor Roach, remember when they were playing on this field with me and then coaching them throughout high school however I could. But if there's one thing that I could really just let everybody know is that no matter what in life, when times get hard and when you think things aren't going your way, you have to be strong and that's so easy to say. But you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only option. Because of these guys and coaching and volunteering, I got a scholarship to go to college for that reason. If there's one thing that I can leave you here with this, how all of my teams go, the motto that I always have, our philosophy, is by creating relationships with others, investing in their dreams and aspirations, and helping them chase those dreams and aspirations with them, you become a dream fulfiller. And what's better than that? Thank you.